still on him. Thank you for the sound deal. We hopefully got it fixed now. Still now to Cisco. Prisco on him. As DeWolf drives in wildly, and he gets that one to fall for him. Bushman now brings it up for Summersville. As Alton maintains the pressure, dumps it off to Tristan. Down to Garen Greer. He goes up. He'll be fouled by Orr. And go to the line for two. Six to zero right now. Alton leads with four minutes and 29 seconds. As I mentioned earlier, guys, you only missed the first 36 seconds of the game. Uh, we got kicked off the internet. We do apologize. It's out of our control. Austin worked really hard to get it back up and going. Thankful for him doing that. And here we are. Garen Greer misses his first to two. Second one, no good either. Summersville continuing to struggle, struggle from the line. DeWolf now comes right back at him. Dumps it off to Orr. He'll drive. He goes up. That shocked Christian Orr, yeah. I think. DeWolf dumps it off to Orr. Turnaround jump shot for him off the glass. No good. Still, once more than anybody else, he gets it. Smith now with the ball. Gives it back to Still, who will give it up to Cisco, top of the key. Summersville's got a rebound. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Josh Prisco guarding Smith. Jump up. Jump shot, no good. Andrew Bushman rebound, comes back. Tristan Duncan's going to attack, pull up, and it's good. Summersville's on the board now, so we'll see. Hopefully that kind of opens some things up a little bit. Got to get some stops on the defensive end here, though. No. The Wolf back out to Still, over to Smith. Orr's calling for it, had position. Now Cisco, he'll pull up deep three, no good. And that's going to be out of bounds off Alton. Summersville ball. Chandler Cisco, as of right now, is 0 for 2. Give it time. Bushman up the middle. Over to Gavin Keeling. He gets it up to Duncan. Almost turned over there. Bushman, three point, no good. Summersville has to crash the boards on the offensive side. They haven't done that at all. Is that loud? Yeah. No, they haven't done it well. Uh, on either side, really. Alton's gotten a bunch. They're still for three, no good. Bushman will get it and he'll push it up ahead to Tristan Duncan. Kicks it over to Josh Prisco. Up and in for him. Four to six now. Chandler Cisco gives him, says, give me the ball and he'll take charge. The Wolf now with it over to Smith. Back to DeWolf. He's going to drive. Kick it out to Steele. DeWolf gets it down to Smith. Jump shot's no good. <coughs> Bushman pulls that down. Kicks it over to Josh Prisco. He'll pull up. No good. Not sure if I think uh, 
Cisco might have got a hand on that one, a little deflection. And DeWolf will come right back at him. Andrew Bushman is going to be called for a reach. I don't personally agree with that one. I don't it agree like with he that one. He the ball away. And, and then there Clint was a travel a horrible, down there. But. Clinton had a horrible angle for it, but he's a good ref, so I'm not going to argue with him. This first quarter has went by quick. Yeah. And maybe because it was so, so, like, bang, bang for me trying to get everything going. But still now with the ball over to Smith, to DeWolf. Back to Smith. He'll kick it over to Steele in the corner. No shot there. I'm shocked Steele didn't take that. Well, they had Duncan coming at him. Orr's going to go to work here. Turn around, jump shot for Orr. No good. And Garen Greer will pull that one down with Bushman slapping it to him. Gavin Keeling coming back for Summersville. Ooh. Keeling over to Bushman. Works it around to Tristan Duncan. Three point from the corner. No good. Chased down by DeWolf. And he'll come back. Fast pace for Alton. Spins. Gives it off to Smith. He drives in. No good. <laughs> Garen Greer pulls that one down. As Tristan Duncan tried for a charge, no whistle there. Good no call. Gavin Keeling now will pull it out for Summersville. Low scoring, at least to this point. Duncan will take a three from the top. Got it's it. Good. Summersville seven, has a lead. Seven to six now as we approach the one-minute mark. The Wolf almost caught sleeping there. He luckily got a hand on it. Still, Cisco. Josh Prisco comes out to guard him. Still gets it down to Orr. Back to Still. Fakes a shot. Loses his handy, hand. My goodness. <laughs> Still goes back in. Easy two for him. Eight to seven. Gavin Keeling now coming up with Still on him. Gavin Keeling hasn't gotten as much as a look at a shot in this game. Bushman down to Duncan, out to Prisco, three-point shot, no good, in and out. Duncan chases that rebound down. He's going to be whistled for the travel as he lost his footing there. Kind of worrisome with his ankle seeing him roll forward like that. Yeah, eight to seven here, 17 seconds left in the first quarter. Not quite what I expected. Uh, give it time. Still pushes it ahead here. Smith back to Steele. The Wolf now with it. Nice crossover by him. He kicks it out. Smith for three. No good. Bushman pulls that rebound down at the buzzer. <coughs> Eight to seven after one. Holy cow. Yep. Corey Miller checked in right there at the end, guys. I just didn't quite get it said. Eight to seven, very low scoring game here. Uh, yet to see DeWolf score, yet to see Killing score for Summersville. Has Cisco scored? Who did I say? You said DeWolf. DeWolf did score, Cisco didn't score. Eight to seven as we get ready to start this second quarter here. Low scoring first quarter, but that can all change in the blink of an eye. Good ball played right now by both teams. Um, Alton has come out a little sloppier than what you would normally see him on the offensive end. But rebounding ball well, defense like none other. Yeah, Summersville's got to rebound the ball better. Uh, and hopefully they do as Christian Orr's not in the game. That's Does he have two fouls or just one? I thought he just had one. But they've got to rebound the ball a lot better than what they have. Yeah. Miller in the middle for him, for Orr. There's Cisco with the ball now. He'll drive, pull up. That's no his good. shot. Yep. I mean, it's that, that little turnaround fadeaway. Gavin Killing gives it up to Andrew Bushman. He'll get it back to Killing. He swings it. Duncan pulls up for another three. No good. As Josh Prisco chases down, but Corey Miller will beat him to it. And good hustle by Prisco there to deflect it out of bounds. Prisco got a hand on it, slapped it out of bounds. Yeah. 
Still now will bring it up for Alton. Summersville comes into this game at 13 and two, but they need a signature win. And I think, that, I mean, I don't know that they're gonna have a better opportunity the rest of the season to get one, or at least to get a more signature win than this one would be. Right. If they could get it tonight. The Wolf gives it out to Cisco. This Alton team is really good. Cisco gives a little push off. Bushman goes flying and Duncan <laughs> gets a hand on that one. Be Alton ball under their basket. That's a play if you're Tristan Duncan. You make the play and go on. You don't say anything. You just you don't want to wake up a you know, you don't want to wake up a giant. Right. Seven to ten now after DeWolf's little floater. Cross court over to Andrew Bushman. He'll swing it down to Prisco. He gets it down to Garen Greer, does a little bit of work. Tries to, but he gets it stolen away by Smith, who comes back ahead to Miller. Miller goes up and fouled, so he'll have an and one opportunity there off the foul of Garen Greer. I'm going to say this. Garen just agreed with a foul call. <laughs> I think it might be the first time that young man's done it. Christian Orr will check back in here for uh, Smith. So Alton has Orr, Cisco, DeWolf, Still, and Miller. Summersville has that free throw is good. Three-point play by Miller is. Summersville has Duncan, Prisco, Keeling, Bushman, and Greer. They're starting five still in. Bushman now, guarded by DeWolf, gets it over to Gavin Keeling. He'll dump it in to Garen Greer, down to Tristan Duncan. He goes up, misses. After the contest there by Cisco, Chandler's going to bring it up for Alton, and he's going right at the basket, up, and he's on the board now, 7-15. to 15. Alton leads as we approach the six-minute mark here in the second quarter. Gavin Keeling with the ball now, still on him. Keeling will bring it around up top. Gives it over to the right side to Andrew Bushman, right wing. He'll come back up top. DeWolf on him, he swings it over. Comes back, gets it to Gavin Keeling. Four, three, no good. And Orr's going to rip that one down. DeWolf comes back for Alton. He's going to go all the way. We're going to have a blocking call on Tristan Duncan. Which will send DeWolf to the line for two. Yeah, uh, Doug Swan, uh, official Swan just called that on the floor. It's not though, it'll be an and one free throw. They change, or I don't, Swan called it on the floor. The uh, official down here, I don't, we, we don't know his name. I don't know, but anyway, we got Andrew Bushman with the ball up top. He'll shoot, nope. He'll give it in to Tristan Duncan, out to Gavin Keeling. Keeling gives it to Bushman, shot fake. He'll go in over to Garen Greer, kicks it back to Bushman, another shot fake there. Bushman will take this three, no good. And Orr's gonna chase it down, ahead to Cisco. Cisco doing a little ball handling here. Pulls up three-point shot, and oh, it's wow. good. Timeout, Summersville, 20-7. to seven. Alton leads. As you see the Summersville cheerleaders coming onto the court there, we'll go ahead and holler at them one more time. We've got Gracie Seelock as the captain. Emma German is the co-captain. Then we have Haley Mitchell, Alexis Boyer, Alyssa Pfeiffer, Audrey Bell, Sydney Mahan, Haley Brawley, Ellie Denton, and Jalen Halstead. Girls are coached by Ashley Beavers and co, I guess assistant coach is Heather Cooper. That's how it works. Good group of girls follow the Summersville Wildcats everywhere that they go. And officials tonight, as I mentioned earlier, are Doug Swan and Clint Berry, along with a dark-haired gentleman. I cannot think of his name. (laughs) 
got Elijah Howe watching. He's some Summersville alum. How's it going, Elijah? Seven to 20. Alton leads right now, 13-point lead for them with four minutes, 50 seconds on the clock in this second quarter. Tristan Duncan will bring it up for Summersville. Huckabee's now checked in for Alton also. Get it down to Duncan. Oh, he gives it over to Greer, who catches it in his mouth, saves it back. Bushman will kick it over. Duncan will shoot a three. It's good. 10 to 20 now. As Chandler Cisco bring it up for Alton. Huckabee with the ball to Smith. Smith's going to drive. He'll go up. Nice lay up there by him. And Keeling will come back for Summersville as we approach the four-minute mark. Bushman with the ball. Huckabee out on him. Duncan now up top. Bushman, Prisco, back to Bushman. Duncan will come out and get it. He'll swing it over to Keeling. Bushman fakes a three, drives, hands off to Duncan. Nice two points there for him, 12 to 22. Now those are typically shots, those threes that Bushman has passed up. Those are typically shots he takes. Well, with defense like he got on him, he, he's not going to get them all. Miller now with the ball to Cisco. Cisco loses his handle for a second, gets it back. Huckabee down to Smith. Greer on him. They dump it into Orr. Hook shot is good for Orr. Summersville just doesn't have anybody with height. I mean, Garen, Garen Greer's what, 6'1"? Yeah. Tough to guard a man that, that size whenever your tallest guy is only 6'1". Not that it can't be done. Duncan now over to Keeling. Keeling shoots. No good. Prisco gives it to Greer. Greer scores. 14 to 24. Cisco pushes ahead to Huckabee. He'll give it back. Pass fake there by Cisco to Miller. Smith's going to drive. Kicks it out Huckabee. Smith gets the ball back now. And Miller will have it on the right baseline. Corner, three point. No good. Or gets a push from Bushman into Huckabee. No good. Huckabee's own rebound. He'll go up. No good. Smith. Blocked, Greer pulls that one down. A lot of action right there. And we'll go ahead to Keeling with two minutes and five seconds on the clock now. Bushman on the right wing with the ball. Huckabee on him, he gives it up to Tristan Duncan. Back over to Bushman, fakes the shot. Gets him up, dumps it in. Greer will be blocked big by Orr. And Smith's gonna come back for Alton. Picked away by Bushman. Duncan picks it up ahead to Ooh, Keeling, man. and he can't control it. Out of bounds. I think the pass might have been a little too far out front. That's what I, as soon as he let it go, I was like, ooh. <coughs> Trey Fisk is going to check in now for. Uh... Tristan Duncan, give him a breather. One forty left here in this second quarter. And Cockrum's in now, running point for Alton. Huckabee with it. He gets it down to Orr. Orr's going to do a little work. Prisco gets a hand on it. Smith drives, pulls up. It's good. 26-14. Minute 20 left. Keeling now to bring it up for Summersville. 12-point ball game here. Alton leads. Cockrum out on Bushman, cross-court pass, Gavin Keeling. It's a risky pass to throw yep. against this team. They've made their living in some games. Pull up for Keeling, in and out, no good. Greer fights for it, but Orr pulls it away, gives it to Cockrum, who comes back for Alton. Yeah, well, when every kid on your team can jump out of the gym, that's a yeah. very risky pass. DeWolf goes in hard, misses, gets his own rebound. He'll go up, blocked by Fisk. Gets his rebound again. He'll try to go up again. Fisk going to foul that one. Something happened. I think Garen Greer got hit or something. Knocked the wind out of him. Looks like he got elbowed in the throat. 
He just kind of stepped out of bounds there for a second. That looks like he got elbowed in the throat. He was holding it just then. <laughs> the Wolves' first free throw, no good. That's uncharacteristic Rare. of him. Yeah. Thirty-six seconds left here in the first half. Second one is short. As he gets his own rebound and goes up and scores two. That's something that I know Coach Harrell's going to talk to him about in the locker room. They've got to try to rebound. Well, yep. They ain't got to try. They've got to rebound better. Killing being guarded by Cockrum. Over to Bushman. Going to get it over to Prisco and to Greer. Greer looks to do a little work, goes up. Cisco brings it down. He's going to push it up for Alton, down to three seconds Nice behind here. the back dribble. He'll pull up. No good. Garen Greer pulls that down. We'll go to the locker room. 14-point lead, 14-28. to 28. Alton leads Summersville right now. It's not disappointed. It's not disappointed. Summersville's just not big. That's, I think... I mean, they don't have a big body. Nope, no big bodies at all. But, I mean, you can't take anything away from Alton. I mean, what a lot of what Summersville's not doing is due to what Alton is doing. So, anyway, we're going to take you guys to our ad video, give us a little breather here, and we will be back with second quarter, or second half action, guys. Welcome to Summersville Wildcats Live. Hi, Andy Earls here, your owner operator. I just want to say thank you for tuning in with us and for all of the support. This is the first year of SWL, and we are excited to bring it to you week in and week out. We also want to say thank you to all of our amazing sponsors that you're about to see and hear in this ad video. We'll be back live with the game action shortly, and we hope you enjoy this production. Go Wildcats! Hey, I love bringing you the SWL live streams in my spare time. But when I'm not here, I'm at Baldwin Chevrolet in Popper Bluff, Missouri. I have been selling cars for 15 years now and love the opportunity to earn your business. Four lots full of new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from. The majority of these are backed by a lifetime warranty at no charge to you. Come see me at Baldwin Chevrolet or call me directly at 501-413-9715. I look forward to seeing you. A big shout out to our primary sponsor, Security Bank of the Ozarks. They have five locations, six different 24-hour ATMs, offering mobile banking, online bill pay, mobile deposits, and much more. They also have a debit card fraud monitoring app that you can check your balance on, as well as many other functions. Visit them online at www.sbozarks.com. Security Bank of the Ozarks. Go Wildcats. Your primary sponsor, Current Incorporated out of West Plains, Missouri. Family owned and operated since 1990. They provide electrical, heating air services, and that's installation for both residential and commercial customers. Their electricians, gosh, they do anything from replacing a light bulb to completely wiring an entire commercial building. The HVAC department does anything from replacing an air filter to installing rooftop heating and air systems and full custom duct systems. They even have their own wireless high-speed internet in West Plains and surrounding areas. Current Inc. SWL's primary sponsor, Wendy's Canoe Rental. They have canoe, kayak, raft, and tube rentals for Jack's Fork and Current River. They're located at the south end of Highway 19 Bridge over Jack's Fork River. Get a hold of them toll free at 866-889-8177 or online www.wendyscanoe.com. Go Cats! All of us here at Summersville Wildcats Live want to give a big shout out to the beautiful Tuttle family and their company Tuttle Logging on their Wildcat sponsorship package for the 2021-2022 season. The Tuttle family is your local experts for all things logging and they want you to know that they are proud supporters of not only Summersville Wildcats Live but the city of Summersville. Big thank you again to the Tuttle family and their company Tuttle Logging. SWL wants to give a big thank you to Kathy's Creations out of Somerville, Missouri. In fact, 
Kathy's Creations is right on the square there in Summersville, and they have a plethora of different ways to serve you, like fabric work, quilting, silks, gift items, and much, much more. Kathy's Creations, we wish the Summerville Wildcats Athletics the best of luck on the upcoming season. Kathy's Creations, 417-331-6508. Go Cats! Hey, from everybody here at Summersville Wildcats Live, we're going to give a big shout out and a thank you to Mr. Brandon Brawley and all the fine folks there at Brawley Fertilizer and Lime Spreading on their Wildcat Package Sponsorship for the 2021-2022 live streaming season. Hey, if you need fertilizer and lime spreading, they are the place to go in this area. You can get a hold of them at 417-331-1753 and they want to wish the Summersville Wildcats nothing but the best of luck on the upcoming sports season. Our tour on the sponsor video makes a stop at Pineview Christian Home. We want to say thank you to Pineview Christian Home for the Wildcat sponsor package on the 2021-22 streaming season. It's a social service organization that's been in business since 1994, long-standing with great customer service, friendly staff, located at 4281 Highway 17 right there in Summersville. To get a hold of them, 417-932-4557. How about Triple T Logistics out of Summersville, Missouri? Thank you guys for your sponsorship. Hey, if you got any kind of logistical needs, no matter how big or small, pick up that phone and dial Jay and Sue Duncan, the owners, at 417-247-1742. They're a family-owned and operated business specializing in hauling flatbed freight in Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Tennessee. Triple T Logistics, go Wildcats. Summerville Wildcats Live is a Redline Media Lines company. Redline also operates the award-winning Corning Sports Report. That's Arkansas's number one viewed high school sports streaming company. Dogpack Media out of Van Buren and Alton Sports Network. Hey, if you or your high school would like information from Redline about live streaming an event near you, simply reach out to myself and your at 501-413-9715. Redline Media Lines, connect the world. Hey guys, listen up. If yourself, your group, or your business is looking for decals, well look no further. Drop Dead Decals is your one-stop shop for all things decals. Monograms of all sizes, colors and designs, fridge magnet decals, car decals, and anything else you can imagine. You guessed it, decal-wise. Owner Head Eddie has great customer service and is eager to get going on your next decal project. Find them on Facebook and send them a message with your ideas, wants, and needs. Drop Dead Decals, go Wildcats. As we record this ad, the SWL Facebook page is up to 600 followers, and that's in less than one full month. It's pretty incredible considering the population in the Summersville city limits. Hey, we sincerely appreciate our loyal fan support of not only us, but these hardworking Wildcat and Lady Wildcat athletes. Let's keep that momentum going into the streaming season. Help us share these feeds and make sure to like and follow us. Let's go Wildcats. Hey guys, let's not forget that select SWL live streams will be seen on our Redline Media Lines YouTube channel this season. Watch on your big screen from the comfort of your home with a smart TV and the YouTube app. Just a few advantages over Facebook like pausing and rewinding live events. Make sure to click that subscribe button to our Redline Media Lines YouTube channel. Let's go Wildcats. Redline, connect the world. Let's all go and subscribe to Summersville's own Austin Bradley's College Basketball Insider Channel on YouTube. Austin and his passion and knowledge of college basketball shine through on this channel week in and week out. Speaking of week in and week out, weekly polls every week, bracket breakdowns, and much more analysis from Austin can be seen and even discussed on this channel by commenting with Austin on the chat feature each week. CBI with Austin Bradley. It is never too late to become a sponsor here with us at Summersville Wildcats Live. When you sponsor, you aren't just supporting the people who support Summersville Athletics. You're supporting these young men and women who work so hard and represent the Wildcats in a manner that we can all be proud of. If you have questions about becoming a sponsor, please feel free to contact us on Facebook, 
and reach out to owner-operator Andy Earls at 501-413-9715. Let's go Wildcats. We want to say thank you to all of our sponsors from all of us. All right, everybody, and we are back now. It's about to be the start of the second half of this varsity game, 24 to 18, 28 to 14, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, Summersville, they're just out big, really. Uh, they've got to get in there and try to rebound. They've got to try to find some offense. I mean, a 14-point game at halftime, the game's not over. They've just got to find a way. They've got to, well, first of all, they've got to stay in it. They've got to, they've got to realize that the game is not over. And then they've got to find a way to, even though, uh, you know, they're bigs like Cisco and uh, Orr, they've got to find a way to get in there and get rebounds. And they've got to, I mean, they can't allow Alton to get six, you know, four, five, six attempts. Well, and, most and importantly, we got to get a body on somebody. Nobody's in there blocking out. Nobody's in there fighting for it. Whenever you've got three or four boys from the other team fighting for it and you're just standing back content to wait for the ball to come to you, you're just not going to get it. Right. And if we can, I mean, if we can get uh, – Keeling open for some looks. That would be big, too. Um, there's ways for Summersville to get back in this game and win it. They just got to go out there and they got to execute them. And, I mean, honestly, they've... No, well, there's plenty of ways to get back in it uh, as we're having some technical difficulties here again, guys. The but iPad died even though it was plugged into the charger. We're still live. Okay. Uh, the scoreboard will probably be a little behind, I will say that. But Killing with the ball now. The Wolf on him, pressured by DeWolf and still. He dribbles through, gets it over to Tristan Duncan, down to Garen Greer. How's that not goaltending? But anyway, Garen Greer shoots it. Ball's, uh, backboard is slapped. Ball's knocked out of the rim then, but there's two points for Alton. 14 to 30 now. Seven minutes, 35 seconds. Bushman with the ball on the left side. He'll push it up to Tristan Duncan, who will take a corner three. It's and good. 17-30. Got to get back and play defense now. You can't celebrate the three. All that does is trim the lead to 13. And still now with the ball, Bushman coming out to guard him as he'll back back off. He'll go right. Gives it over to Cisco. Smith now with the ball. He's going to drive. He'll go all the way in. No good. Nice position there by Orr for the rebound yeah, and the put back. Very good position by Orr. And Keeling now with the ball. Bushman tries Ooh. to throw it ahead, but Smith gets a hand on it. Down to Greer, 4-2. Smith got a hand on that one, but it went ahead and made it on down. They've got to get stops. They're 32-19. to 19. We apologize. The iPad just, I mean, it was hooked up to the charger. It just died. Smith with the ball. Up to DeWolf. Thought about a three. Still's going to drive. Spin. Gives it off to Orr. He'll go in. Nice little baby hook. No good. And Orr chases it down and gets it out to Cisco. Summersville fans are not happy about a no call there. I mean, knowing knowing that over the back isn't a thing, I mean, <laughs> kind of changes the way that. Dude, the foul, it's still a foul. It. It's just not called over the back. Got to get a rebound right there. Like, it. That's never okay for that to happen. Still goes up, no good, <laughs> and Keeling will pull that one down. Almost loses it, but he'll bring it back for Summersville now. Up the middle. Duncan with a screen there. Looks to get Bushman over on the left. Bushman directing traffic here, telling Prisco where he needs him. Keeling over to Prisco. Nice shot right there, foul on or We'll send Garen Greer to the line. No, there is no such call as over the back. But the foul is still there. It's still a push foul or whatever foul. There's a contact foul, but the actual call of over the back, what it is is refs hate hearing that because there's no actual call in the, in the, in the rule book. Oh, I thought he was going to get that bounce. No, no, he didn't, though. First one no good, 19 to 32. Five minutes, 28 seconds left here. In this third quarter, as Greer gets the ball for a second. And 
The second one bounces around, and it is good. 12-point lead now, 20-32. As Cockerm will bring it up for Alton to Cisco, DeWolf. Smith's going to drive up the right side. No good. Foul on Garen Greer. Guys, we appreciate you watching us tonight with us, joining in. A few people I got showing up, Nathan Cook, Judy Cooper, Gilbert, Michelle Miley, Justin Johnson, Becky Havens. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Zach Alcorn says, Summersville needs to rebound no matter the size of anyone. That's the truth. Got to get in there and fight for it and get some bodies in there. Agree 100%. Smith's free throw, second one's good. And Keeling now bring it up, 34-20. Alton still leads, 14, 14 points. I will, Bushman. I will say this, it's not just size, it's physicality too. I mean, Alton is physical. I mean, there's been a few times where it's honestly, I mean, it looks like they've wanted it more. Duncan in the three from the corner almost had it. Yeah, but what he's saying is it doesn't matter just getting there and rebound the ball. We don't have people down there doing it. So size, physicality, or whatever, we got to fight for it. It's hard to rebound against Christian Orr being as big as he is and all that, but still you got to have people in there fighting for it. Not saying Greer's not because he has been fighting for it. 36-20 right now as we hit four minutes and 34 seconds, third quarter. Tristan Duncan thought about a three right there, I think, a deep one. Bushman gives it down to Prisco. He'll drive. He goes up. No good. Another missed layup. Or gets it over to Cockrum. He'll come up the right side for Alton. And gets it over to DeWolf. Cisco now with the ball down to Cockrum. He'll shoot a three. It's good. I mean, you can't give it to him wide open. I mean, that's 39 to 20 as we hit the four-minute mark here. Bad defensive rotation there. Bushman, Duncan, back to Bushman. Cock him on him. He's a, staying in there pestering him. Killing kicks it back out. Bushman's hesitating on shooting tonight for whatever reason. I don't know if he's just not feeling it or what. Killing will pull up inside the three, free throw. No good. Or pulls down that rebound. Cisco comes back. Ooh, nice, nice screen there by, by Christian Orr into DeWolf. Reverse layups, good. Nice play right there. 21 to 41 to 20. As Keeling brings it back for Alton. Loose ball scramble there. Alton comes uh -oh. out on top. We got away with the travel. Big dunk right there. Loose ball scramble there. Alton comes uh -oh. out on top. We got away with the travel. Big dunk. Get up, young man. And I believe timeout by Summersville. I saw the way that Chandler Cisco was cutting, or the way he was running down the floor, he was going to cut. That was a nice, I mean, it was a you nice. Go, you go back tonight and watch that one, watch that replay there, and see if uh, the Wolf doesn't travel when he gets the ball. I'm not taking away from it, but he did travel. I thought that was going to be the call, but then I seen what was coming, and I was like, nobody's blowing a whistle here. Big dunk. Nice oop, fun to watch. If you're Summersville, you just got to chill out, though. Like, that's a big. All right, smart play right there by Coach Harrell. Call a timeout. All right, guys, that's done. It's over with. Let's move on with it. Linda Barnes is watching now. Hi, Linda. <coughs> Those of you that are watching that uh, I'm not friends with, I do apologize. I'm not uh I will say this. Devin. It doesn't show up. Uh, duh. Tony Cook says, Doug Swan, how can you miss that travel? He saw it. Ta uh, I think it's Devin Harrington. The fact that Devin Harrington got a technical and Chandler Cisco did. Yeah, big difference. It was so much worse. We're going to have a foul on the floor here. There was yeah. a lot more hanging than. Oh, yeah. Uh, but that's a big dunk, dude. You can't, you can't break that up. Summersville inbound here as. Fouls awarded to 
Haddock, I believe. Duncan looks to drive on Cisco. Gives it into Keeling. He'll go up and he'll score there. Summers really just got to stay in the fight. I mean, Huckabee's who that foul was on. Sorry, that's his first. 22-43. Cisco now with the ball. Prisco will come out and guard him. Alton seemed to slow it down just a little bit here. Down to Cochram. Huckabee. The Wolf, nice little floater, no good. Gets his third or fourth offensive rebound, and we're going to have a jump ball. Cockrum gets it, doesn't get it inbounded. Bushman will walk away with that. Nice little nice floater, floater by there by Andrew Bushman. Yep. Jed Montgomery says he didn't even hang on the rim. Well, we'll just have to agree to disagree on yeah, that one, bud. Definitely hung on the rim. The Wolf now comes back right side. Bushman will guard him. He's going to drive. Travels. Uh, I think he got bumped pretty hard. Miller goes up. Ooh, he got bumped pretty hard too. <laughs> Miller did. Tristan. Mowed him over. And Keeling now come back up the left side for Summersville. 45-24 with a minute 30 left. Deep three, Bushman, no good. Prisco slaps it down. Trey Fist saves it. Gavin Keeling will get this one up. No good. And we're going to have a foul on Cisco, I believe. Yep, be his first one on that rebound. What's up, Kenyon Walls? Bushman gets it in. Prisco, right-hand side. He's going to give it up to Gavin Killing there. Cockrum on Killing. Corner to Duncan. He'll back it out to Killing. Killing to take a three. No good. Whoa, that was Cisco. Short. Yep, Cisco with the rebound as we hit the 50-second mark here. What you just saw right there is Gavin Keeling's been taken out of his rhythm completely. Huckabee gets it over to Cisco. Prisco on him. Up to Cochran with Bushman on him. The Wolves had a real good night on both ends, but on the offensive end, he's had a good night taking charge. Cockrum now. Bushman coming out to guard him. Miller with the ball as we hit 15 seconds. Bushman guarding Cockrum. He'll kick it over Huckabee. He's going to be called for the travel. 10.3 seconds left. 24-45. Alton's up. Zach Craig will be checking in for the first time tonight. And Josh Prisco is going to take a seat and get a breath. Bushman gets it into Gavin Killing. He'll push it up the right, left side. Kicks it over to Zach. Zach might have got away with the travel. Air ball. Cisco saves it. Miller, big heave, way too high. I don't think he knew exactly where he's at on the court. Great quarter right there by Alton. Summersville fought and struggled to stay in it, but... Great job by Alton. Uh, I wish we had the opportunity right now to replay that dunk. Beautiful loop. Uh, ball was stolen. The Wolf gets the ball. Gives a nice loop to Chandler Cisco for a two-hand dunk. Fun, fun game for us to watch. As you see, Gracie Seelock, the captain of the Summersville Wildcat cheerleaders there, doing some tumbling, backhand springs, and I'm not sure what the other stuff's called, but... <laughs> uh, it'll be Summersville's ball here to start the uh, start the fourth quarter. <laughs> so 
So I coach a little fourth grade team. First year I've been helping them, you know, coaching them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was telling them, you know, I need them to come to some high school games so they can see how the how the game's played and all that stuff. And I've had two or three at this game, two or three at this game. I have almost my whole team here tonight. And the reason is is because I told them, I said, Alton has boys that can dunk. I said, and they usually dunk two, three, four times in a game. So I've got, like, every kid here almost on my team just for that purpose alone. It's kind of sad a little bit. <laughs> Killing, nice behind the back pass there to Duncan for three, which is good. Duncan just cracks it a thousand point. But I'm sorry, I'm I'm sorry, and as amazing and as an accomplishment that is, you're down 18. No, you cheer for it. That's a big big feat, in my opinion. Still gets or hits him in the head. It's going to go out of bounds off Summersville, though. No, uh, the team's not celebrating. It's the students. The students should have celebrate that. A thousand points is a big deal for any high school player, especially a junior. As Coach Kelly and Cisco there are having a conversation. Smith now with the ball. DeWolf, Craig on him. Smith goes at Fisk, spins, gets it down to Orr, who was blocked by Trey Fisk. They wanted a foul. and looked like it from here, but nice drive right there by Tristan Duncan, be fouled by Smith. Devlin Hawkins says, congratulations, Tristan. Now let's go. I agree, Devlin, 100%. Duncan's first one's no good. So, did you see the play down there? It was a foul. Was it a clean block or was it a foul? I don't know. It is. Second one rolls around, no good. Cisco pulls it down. Still brings it up for Alton. He's going to take it to the right there. Bushman guarding him up to Cisco. Still now over to Smith, and he's going to drive, wide open layup. Good for him on the right-hand side. Bushman's going to come back, 27-47. Alton leads. Killing and one will be by fouled by Orr, I believe. And gets a chance for his and one. That was kind of a crazy Different angle, but he gave the foul to number three because I don't think that's his third foul. No, it says player three. It should foul should have been on Orr, but because there is not even a three on the floor. But hey, three point play right there by Gavin Killing. Still now with the ball, Bushman on him. He gives it up to Cisco. Cisco gives it back. Smith, he's going to come around the right again. The Wolf now comes around left. Big loop here, run by Alton. Cisco with the ball. Yeah, he pushed off there. That's the third time he's pushed off, and there's been no call. Uh, he did it twice on this end, but. Second foul on Andrew Bushman. You just got to roll on. You can't. Qu you can't quit playing defense in that situation. Well, while it is a foul, I mean, he does lower his shoulder and push him off. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it. I guess rules are rules, but I mean, he didn't change the the effect of the play or anything like that. The wolf pull up, no good. Duncan pulls that one down. Comes back for killing. He's going to pull up a three. No good. Or rip that one down over to Cisco. Cisco's going to push the pace up the court. Pull up jump shot for him. It's good. That's his shot right there. That was, I mean, that was pretty decently contested by Prisco right there, too. Yeah. It just, that's just his shot. Keeling now over to Prisco.
Prisco has DeWolf on him. Tristan Duncan comes in, gets that loose ball. And we're going to have a foul on the floor. Faye Kyle's watching. Hi, Faye. Hope you're doing well. Bushman trying to get the ball inbounded. Gets it to Prisco up top. Swings it to Keeling. He'll shoot it. Three-point, no good. Contested by Smith. And Orr rips that one down. Duncan. Duncan and uh, Bushman were hanging in there trying to get the ball away. Looked like there might have been a few hands in there. but Yeah, good hustle nonetheless. Five minutes, nine seconds left. Alton leads 49 to 30 here. Still will slowly bring it up for Alton. Cisco with the ball up top over to Smith. He'll shoot a three. No good. And we're going to have a loose foul here. Loose ball foul on. Oh, on Christian Orr. That's his fourth foul. Huh. That's Christian Orr's fourth foul. That's. I thought they were calling that was going against Summersville, but they got a push foul on the war. Turnaround jump shot by Duncan, no good. Pulled down by Cisco. Man, watch him go up there and get those rebounds. I started to say good crazy. rebound there by Cisco. That was. Smith now with the ball. The Wolf dumps it off. Nice dump off there to Christian Orr for two. Johnny Callahan, how are you doing, buddy? Farmers watching us. Bushman now with the ball, swings it over to Keeling. Keeling wasting a lot of time here with the ball uh, dribbling as we all hit the four minute mark. He's gonna go up, floater in the lane, no good. <coughs> Duncan slap, or I mean, Bushman slaps it over to Greer, no good, fade away. Smith's gonna pull this one down and he's gonna be fouled by Tristan Duncan. Summersville for the first time this game is going to show some pressure. We'll see. Uh... Up ahead to the Wolf, way too easy. We're going to have a foul call here on Tristan Duncan blocking. That'll be his third. Yeah, it wasn't a blocking foul. He caught a hold. I mean, there was a foul there, but it was a blocking foul. He didn't hold him. Now, foul none, nonetheless. Still gets it. He goes up hard, and he'll score. 53-30. Still knocked Miller down on the way up. His own teammate there. Then still will be whistled for that foul. Three minutes, 41 seconds. 30-53, to 53, Alton leads here. Fourth quarter. Alton has 18 fouls. Summersville has 14 fouls. Bushman will shoot a one and one. Or was he shooting? No good. Duncan saves it right underneath the goal to De or Cisco up to DeWolf. Nice little layup yeah, there that by the Wolves. Really nice. Hesitation reverse layup. Bushman gets it over to Keeling. He has it poked away by the Wolf. Uh oh, could have something going here. Off the glass, no good. And Prisco gets it back to Duncan. Got a little too fancy. Duncan gives it off to Greer, who can't finish at the goal. Still now gets it over to Cisco, up to the Wolf, and Andrew Bushman will poke it out of bounds from the Wolf. I'd say that's a dunk they, or a noop they probably run in practice and just scooping off. I'd say it's totally doable by them. They did it down there at Kabul. Yeah. Tristan Duncan's going to come out for a little bit. I'll tell you, this is the first time, I mean, if you want to call it that, 
this is the first time this year that Summersville's been blown out. I mean, I don't know. I think, I mean, I would bet, I'd be willing to bet money that these two teams are going to see each other again here probably the week after next, but. Good possibility of it. Uh, Devin Harrington now, JB player, he's checked in for Alton. Along with Huckabee, Miller, Cisco, and DeWolf. Summersville has Keeling, Prisco, Craig, Fisk. Three point by Craig, no good. And Bushman. And Prisco, sorry. Cisco's going to drive up the lane, dips it Ooh, off to nice the wolf. Pass. Nice pass right there. Lay in for two, 57 to 30. Two minutes, 22 seconds left. As Keeling will come back for Summersville. He'll pull up. Shot's good. 32 57, 25 point lead. And the wolf comes right back at him. He'll kick it over. Huckabee, three point shot, no good. Harrington chases it down out of bounds, and it's going to be Summersville ball. Cochran will come in, and Cisco will take a seat. Guys, the score is actually 57 to 32. Uh, my iPad keeps going dead even though it's on the charger. Um, Bushman now with the ball over to Zach Craig in the corner. He tried up top, but he didn't. DeWolf's seen it. He's going to come in. Thought about a dunk. Didn't quite get there. Yeah, it was like, I don't think He's that was. He's smiling real big. I don't think that was blocked. It just, no. Nope, and he's going to take a seat. Still on the floor now. No, it was not blocked. At this point, have fun, young man. Killing, drives, has it stripped away. Huckabee comes away with it. Harrington, he'll kick it back to Cockrum. He's going to drive, shoot, or pass, I mean. Huckabee, three, no good. Bushman will pull that one down. Minute 15, 32-57. Oh, wow. It's picked off there. And still... Lay up for him. That's what I was talking about earlier about not uh, about us stop, <clears throat> us stopping and waiting. They don't stop. They don't wait. They go to the ball. Three point shot for Killing. No good. Fisk keeps it alive. Harrington pulls it down. Gives it up to Still. Up ahead to Huckabee. Back to Still. Down to 45 seconds. 32 59. Huckabee into Harrington, turnaround jump shot, no good, fouled by Trey Fisk. 38.1 seconds, Harrington's going to the line for two. Guys, we appreciate you tuning in tonight in a night that has been totally dominated by Alton, JV, girls varsity, and now boys varsity. All victories for the Alton Comets. <laughs> good job to them. Harrington's first free throw was good. Second one is good as well. 61-32, 38 seconds left here. Summersville will be uh, in action next. They'll play in Houston on Monday in the Shot Houston there. Boys Basketball Invitational. Alton is going to play rival Thayer, who I'm going to tell you right, right now, if Alton don't come ready to play, Thayer's coming for blood. They hey, took a loss tonight. I say and, they just lost tonight to uh, Willow. They're going to be coming for blood, and it's a rivalry game, so Alton better be ready. But this was a good uh, good game for Alton to get kind of fired back up to. Coming off of a loss to a very, 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 very tough South Iron, and uh, Coach Kelly and I were talking the other day, and he said all that really happened was, you know, they, they run out of legs. You know, yep. he uh, doesn't have the depth that uh, South Iron had, and not making excuses or anything like that or taking away from South Iron, but he said that uh, they run out of gas, didn't have the legs to finish the game and all that, so this is a good little game for them to get back in and uh, get back in the, in the groove of things. Yep, but guys, uh, I'm ready to go home. I'm almost positive that you're ready to go home. Uh, so we will see you all. Uh, I'll, I will be at Houston on Monday. Uh, for the Houston tournament, we'll have Houston and Van Buren. 
Uh, Dad will be here. We'll be there as well. Um, then we'll be in Alton on Tuesday for Alton and Thayer, and then the rest of the week we will be in Houston for the semifinal and uh, final of that tournament. And then the week after that, we will have every single game of the Big Springs Conference tournament. So, uh, by the way, those seedings were released today. Uh, Al or Alton is number two, Summersville is number three. So, could be another, uh, well, probably will be another matchup uh, just probably in about two weeks from two weeks. Uh, Very good possibility of it. Bunker is the one seed in there. Uh, they they defeated Alton at, at, at Bunker three weeks ago, four. As at the beginning of the season. So. Uh, last year that happened, and then Alton wrecked them in the conference final. So, and it very well could head that way again. But, guys, we're done. Uh, uh, <laughs> for everybody here at uh, Summersville Wildcats Live and Redline Media Alliance, uh, my dad, Alan Bradley, me, Austin Bradley. Again, I'd like to thank uh, Nick Ronsby for coming out and running the camera. He did a great job. Guys, we'll see y'all. Uh, we'll see you on Monday. See you guys.